what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today we are going to be grinding at monshums because yesterday i was actually at the shira and i was just doing random stuff and we actually got the ancient piece so we're at two out of three ancients for another mana potion and so we're going to be grinding uh monshums for a little bit supposedly the hardest to do and uh yeah so hoping for the best Hopefully we can get it. I mean, I already have a mana potion, but it would be nice to have an ancient. Plus, we get to listen to the new music that is in this area. All right, so pets. I don't know if we need it on agile, but we'll just keep it there. Also, uh, still making progress towards our pen black star. Today was patch day. They had an artifact inventory where you just put all your stuff in one thing pretty awesome so make sure to actually sort that out when you guys get a chance but to listen to the new music that i swore i've never heard before here and i'm pretty sure there are more artifacts you could get here but i don't know if they're good let's actually take a quick look we are at Monshums. You can get Magic AP, which I have a lot of. Magic DR and Magic Evasion. Cool. Hit me with a seven. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, so also today they have a placeholder item for Draconia's awakening weapon that you can enhance, but since uh, I don't even have a season one anymore, I just have a character in succession. It's all good. Wait, this is just old music now. So, for all of you wondering, I have been at Monchum's many hours. You guys know that I've been grinding. I actually got a hundred pity pieces back in the day to get my piece, and now we're just trying to go for the actual ancient one and even then i have 59 pity pieces so i'm like on track to get a second mana potion <laughs> and uh but even if we get 100 it doesn't matter i'm going for ancient that's all that matters to me but luckily i'm not like in a rush to the point where i feel i have to use uh like tent buffs and all that stuff. I don't. Oh yeah, I forgot to pop. I called it. Called it from my guild. Gave them a warning. We're good. Can you get iridescent light stones here? So, as far as I know, unless they change something, the only place you can get, uh, or the only monster that drops the ancient piece is the shamans. So. Let's lower the audio real quick. So I'm not too concerned about the pity pieces. It's ancient or bust. I 
kind of wonder how many people actually get the full ancient ones these days. At least unlike Tashira Ruins or like Blood Wolves, you actually make some money here that if you grinded an hour, you wouldn't like still be breaking even or negative with like 10 buffs and stuff. So at least here, if you get some decent Capris, you sometimes you can get a Narc Earring, which is kind of high right now. So Narc Earring is good. Ah, oh yeah, we got. Let's put on the trash loot. Not that this really matters to me. Also, these Moncham Voodoo dolls they don't sell because uh, I've had. What is it? 328 of them sitting from the last time I went grinding for uh, pieces. Where is the thing? What in the world? I should really only focus on, uh... Shamans, if I wanted to go faster. But I figured if I'm gonna grind, I might as well just try to get as much silver as I can while I'm at it. But I'm gonna skip pulls like that one. Oh yeah, did you guys hear? In the upcoming patch, uh, costume boxes or pearl boxes are going to be increased in Cronstone, so that's pretty awesome. It's going to go from like 400 something to 600 something, which is pretty good. The sale value on the market is going to be like 800 something million, which sounds like a lot, but realistically it's still good. So if we count all the hours since the pity piece or pity system came out for infinite potions came out, I think um probably maybe 70 hours or something. I don't know. Seventy hours, no ancient here. Oh boy, another one. Add to our list of uh, magic AP artifacts. Draconia is magic, right? Not melee. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to start saving them, putting them on all the characters I have.
I've always heard that the Moncham piece was the worst, but in my experience of all of them, I think the Shiro was actually the most dreaded one for me. So yeah, this is what we're looking for. Ancient Crimson Tear. You know, in all the time that we've been, or Spectre's energies have been out, I've literally never gotten one. I've gotten one and that was from an event. But entire, both potions, never got a Spectre's energy before. At least grinding here is like at least a hundred mil an hour, which ultimately kind of low for my gear level. But when I'm at Tashir, I make like 30 mil or 40 mil an hour, if that's a comparison. Still waiting for the day that you could use um, family inventory for infinite pots. Like, I, I don't see why that's an issue. Whereas, if you were to allow people to put, like, a compass or perma traveler's archaeologist map in your family inventory, I could see how that could be a little bit broken, but it's an infinite potion, dude. <laughs> think we can get this in under like 30 hours probably not that's like wishful thinking actually Oh yeah, another thing we did yesterday. Not really as important, but we got our second max HP artifact, so we got two of them now. I I don't think that HP artifacts are really that good unless your your build is literally just HP stacking, which that's a very special thing you're doing in general. But I kinda think that 75 HP for an artifact is a little too low. I think if they boosted it up to, I don't know, like 100 to 200 each, I think it could compete with AP damage in terms of, like, defense uh, equalness. So, I don't know, like 200 buff the uh, HP artifact. Oh, oh yeah, we forgot. We had this. Where'd it go?
Uh, is it going? Okay, let's just have to count on who cares about trash loot here. Let's see how many of these we can fill up. Funny, because, um... Marnie's research box. I think this is Renaros. I got two Renaros ones and then one Monchum. Back when I was doing real grind. If you're going for ancient peace, uh, shaman is the only one that matters. If you're going for pities as well, just kill everything. Music's kind of epic, actually. You guys need Monchum Voodoo dolls? I got you, fam. I don't even think they're worth running. I'd like to think that pets would prioritize super rare loot, so if I'm just like AOEing down everything, it would drop the or pick up the ancient one if that came to it. use a XP thing like the XP here is kind of wonk but hey if it's gonna help me get to 64 sure why not I'm actually kind of curious how many people out there have multiple HP, MP, infinite pots. The only reason I am even going for a second one is because back in the day when I got the Valtara's Clairvoyance piece, is the gathering from uh, Navern Step, I got a double proc and got two of them. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll go for that. And I told myself the only reason why I'd go for a second one is if I got a ancient Tashira piece. And here we are. Because there is zero shot. I'm grinding Tashira for fun for a second one.
Also, for the record, filling up 60,000, it gives you, like, basically a Rift Boss award. So, some random base accessory that's not even worth 60,000 kills, but better than nothing. Honestly, after grinding Jade Forest for a lot of hours, anywhere else feels good, even if the money isn't the same. Just need a new change of pace for a little bit. Ooh, I forgot it drops rumbling earth shards. I need a lot of those. Tier 10 unicorn coming out soon. Kind of preparing us for it with today's patch. A lot of pearl items, uh, events going on for horses. So I think next week or the week after is when tier 10 unicorn comes out. So uh, good luck. Anyone going for it? I might do some coarser attempts to get another unicorn. Uh, not really on my high priority. I'm happy with my Ardenaut. Pegasus, so nice. I need to pl start playing this game with sound and music on more often. Pretty epic. I like it. I kind of wish there was more uses for um, loot scrolls. So one thing I would change, so for all of you who don't grind as much and have like almost 1500 or more loot scrolls just by all the events they have, I don't even buy them. What I would do 
is have two options for a loot scroll. One, it would give you like, I don't know, thousand or two thousand agris or whatever, I guess they think would be equivalent to one hour of grinding. Or you can use it the same way you normally do, which is just add an hour or something of your time to your normal loot scroll. So I think that would incentivize more people to grind more. Um, and obviously the full on grinders would spend more money on these events and stuff. So Perlibus wins, players win. If you had a double option for Agris gain and uh, timer, so like Everyone gets more trash loot, more money in the market. People feel the need to spend more money on the game or something. I think it's just a good idea. But, for all, and even though, like, for all the free-to-play players, they kind of give you a lot of these loot scrolls for free. I don't even buy them. They're just kind of there. All right, game, let's make a deal. Ancient Narc piece in this hour. I'll buy some pearls. Full piece, no, no pities. Remove Lemuria from the game one. I think I could do like 2,000 kills or something. Maybe more an hour. I never really counted. Maybe 3,000. So it'd probably take me about like 20 hours to fill up this greater Marnie stone. Get a, get a base fasty belt for like 20 mil. Do it again. Oh yeah, I think early graduation started today as well. I would probably not recommend early graduating. Unless you really have no interest in your character, because there's a lot of benefits for just staying in season. Three magic evasion artifacts. On it. Well... Oh. Honestly, if you're going to go the defensive artifact route, you want to go probably um, just the base one, like regular DR or the regular evasion, not the monster one or the magic physical. That's just very specific because in theory, like you want to swap out as least as possible, right? So like, let's say you're doing a siege war, right? And everyone is mixed in classes. So you just want general evasion or whatever.
How much are Narc earrings? Fifty three mil. Kind of a lot. I logged in this morning. I saw an awakened pen black start being listed. I was ten bill off and I felt bad. Good news is we're getting Guardian Spirit Stones again for when we grind. That's good. Got to recharge my Vel pretty consistently. Hit me with a six or seven or eight. All right, good enough. Finish the board. Oh, dang, I forgot the drop rate buff is gone after today. Yesterday, uh, it was still on to the 50%. That's an L. Debated. Hey, we got 60 of them now. We only need 40 more. I refuse to make another base mana potion. It's ancient or not getting it. I actually had uh, extra income or silver to spend on a tent buff right now, I would. But literally all the silver I make these days going towards that Pen Black Star fund. Voodoo dolls do we have? Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Got 
Ever since Gyphon became like the number one grind spot, Monchum Voodoo Dolls are irrelevant because the reason why you would run them previously was to get Forest Furies and now they're like min price and like no reason to run those. I kind of do wonder what the rate of uh, ancient po potion piece would be, actually. Because it's definitely like 0, 0.00 something. You know that notification you get when you complete your potion piece, archaeologist map, or the compass? For the potion pieces, they should tell you if you, yours is ancient or not, like the notification. It will tell you on the item, but... <laughs> that item, like, if you grind in the desert for the archaeologist map, that will, item will bait you, like, 100% of the time. Take an estimate how many painful hours here before we get the ancient piece. 50? I don't like, I'm sure the node level 10 probably helps, but I don't think I really want to invest in a level 10 node for this. I'll just grind, grind without it. Like, uh, yeah, I don't feel like I need the node.
I originally thought I was going to process all of that, but turns out I'm probably not. Also, I'm trying to sell my old pen uh, Zarka. I don't think Zarkas are bad at all. I just need money right now. I think on average, if you did use a tent buff and uh, full other buffs, like anything that gives like loot rate, you could probably get like five, five pity pieces an hour. That's what I averaged back in the day when I used full buffs. I don't even think my XP moved at all. <laughs> it barely moves. Back in the day, a few years ago, when like 240 AP was considered good, I was actually grinding here. And this was way before infinite potions even existed.
I just want the ancient beast one time. <laughs> like everyone else, just one time. Sometimes I, so I think about grinding this on Arsha, but then at the same time, do I care enough? I don't know. You know, I would make a lot of that uh, Krogdalo horse gear with the blue materials if it didn't require grinding underwater Sakraya to get like the sacred song thing. And those are also dumb rare, so. That was probably the knock gearing that's old, maybe. Nope, more birch timber. I actually thought about upgrading my uh, rainbow stone. Maybe do a pen push one day. I don't even know what stack to use it on because uh if I'm gonna push a pen monos tool it's gonna be my butcher knife and lumbering axe first for processing stone oh something spawning I think if they j adjusted some of the rates on rent uh, drops from the voodoo scrolls, I think it'd be worth doing a little bit. Increase the chance of narc earrings. Um, chance of multiple forest furies. Yeah. 
and a lot more hunter seals and then it'd be worth it because the way it is right now it's kind of bad I am happy, however, with all these Guardian Spirit Stones. It is one of those things where, not beginners, you use it to repair your Alchemy Stone. If you're a beginner, I just recommend using the Spirit Stones that you get. Anyone who has like a Bell or equivalent, then it's worth it. What did we start at? Like seven or eleven point seven K or something on the Barney Stone? We got like over two thousand plus the time we spent not having it in our inventory because we forgot about it. Yeah, so I'd say about like three thousand ish. Maybe more. Can I check? I don't think I did any grinding today, so maybe that's probably accurate. Five more minutes. All the people who are just now watching this, you just probably like, why are you grinding here? Why do you need another mana potion? The answer is because I just wanted an ancient one. And then I'll put the uh, extra side one, or the regular one I'm currently using, on an ult. Actually, let's go until the um, guild buff goes out. So, seven more minutes. If you can only sell like 500 voodoo dolls at a time, and I go over that 500 limit. 
it's gonna be a little bit concerning because uh, they do not sell I don't think they're worth running either I wonder how much silver we made. I think probably gonna end up with like 9k trash. Times uh 800, that's probably like 70 mil. And after the 70 mil. I guess we'll count the narc gearing that we got, so uh, the 40 something after taxes and all the Capra stones we got. We definitely did not have 22 because I had some in my inventory before we started, I think. So I'd say maybe less than 150 mil in an hour, which uh, is not the worst I've done for ocean piece grinding. You have better gear. What do we have that's better? Oh, a Nuver. I wish they would hide that notification, to be honest. It's because, like, it's irrelevant. Because Nuver has more AP doesn't mean it's better. How long did it take you to get your Montrum piece? I think if you were to full buff and get every or just get it by pity pieces, all 100, 
which is what I did actually, then it would take you probably roughly 30 hours to just get the piece from pity. But there is no light at the end of the tunnel if you're going for ancient. Alright, one more minute. Or less than one minute, and then we're done. Probably by the end of this cycle, and once we get back to the base. I do want to grind a little bit of stars and later just for another uh, magic accuracy light stone or artifact. Kind of a weird hour though in terms of like rare drops we got this is on a j scroll as well one pity piece e. all right well that's the end of this hour thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll probably be grinding a new spot tomorrow so if you enjoyed it Drop a quick like on the video and I will see you later.